Hey, there's a beehive over there. Oh man, I wonder if this is gonna work. Uh, oh my goodness. Yep, that's the intro. Hey guys, do you like bees and stuff? Oh my goodness, would you look down there? What a conveniently placed beehive. I wonder how it got there. Wow, that's a miracle, because in this video, we're exploring the Bee Zone mod, which adds a brand new dimension to the game. How do you get to this dimension, you ask? Simply grab an ender pearl and go, yeet! And then you get inside of the B zone. Okay, this is this is weird. This is generally now. Uh, this is this is we're not supposed. To, we're st we're stuck. Uh, what about going over this direction? Hello. Oh, here we go. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the B zone. As you can see, it is a ginormous dimension that adds way more honeycombs than you're probably ever gonna need. You can actually see these new blocks. These are porous honeycomb blocks. These are empty ones and these are filled ones. You can actually get honey out of them by clicking on them and you can fill up a bottle. Obviously we're in creative mode right now. So let's get out of creative mode real quick. And now we go ahead and boom, we do that and we get some honey. Now the bees don't really like that. And oh my goodness, there's a lot of them. Um, as you can see, they have potion effects. That is because in this dimension, they actually have a few different ones, and uh, I'll pop them up on screen right now because I don't quite remember exactly what they are. I know they get speed. Uh, doesn't really seem like it though. They're kind of they're kind of moving towards me slowly. Uh, but as you can see, they are very grumpy with me. Uh, and you also ah, whoop. Man, these bees are still mad at me. As you can see, there are so many porous honeycomb blocks, and each one of these you can use a honey bottle on, and you'll get. As you see, well, I'm sorry, a regular glass bottle and you'll get a honey bottle. Oh my goodness, these boys are mad. As you can see, when you take honey, you get Wrath of the Hive, which makes all bees aggro towards you. And they do continue to be aggr aggravated towards you. But they also get the status effect, which makes them way stronger. And I, I don't know if they get regeneration or something like that, but they are a lot harder to kill. As you can see, when the Wrath of the Hive effect wears off, everything goes back to a yellow rather than the uh, red that you get. So yeah, just be be cautious. You also might have noticed these honeycomb-shaped structures, and we kind of spawned inside of one of them, actually. But these will also contain a bunch of the porous honeycomb blocks, at least the filled ones. But also keep in mind that these honeycomb bits have a lot of these honey blocks in them. So if you are uh, short on them honey blocks, might be a good place to come farm. Another interesting thing to note is if you have a honey bottle, you can actually fill up these empty porous honeycomb blocks and uh, get this texture if you want. It also, I guess, could be a way of storing it if you if you want to store it in a block form. I don't, I don't know why you would want to do that unless you're like really low on glass bottle or honey bottles. My part. No, you know, glass bottles. Yeah, I'd, I I'm all over the place today, guys. A boss would be really, really cool. Kind of like a queen bee or something like that. I know I've seen that suggest suggested. I also think that this needs to add some more things to do. Uh, as cool as this mod is and as cool as the generation is in here, I do think that there needs to be more of a reason to come here than just honey. When you move one block in this dimension, you actually move 10 blocks in the overworld. So it will place you in a completely different place. So just keep that in mind. So you may be wondering, how do you get out of this dimension? Well, there's two ways. One, you can either fall through the world. Uh, unlike other dimensions where you die when you fall through the world, the game will detect that you've fallen through the world and it will put you in a place in the overworld. The other way, and this way is arguably harder, is to actually break through the top of the map. Uh, as you can see, once you reach the top, oh, here we are. As you reach the top, it says joining world and then you're back in the overworld. And uh, we're in the middle of an ocean. As you can see, a beehive also spawned here. This is because it will try to spawn you near a beehive. And if there's no beehives nearby, as you can see by the fact that we're uh, in the middle of an ocean, then it will spawn one for you. If you guys want to see some more of my mod showcases, there should be a playlist off on the side. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you guys want more videos like this. And I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, guys.